Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the skin weighting for your MetaHuman. There is some tools in Unreal that can help you adjust your skin weights, but um, they're not super great. So I am going to export my Meta Gorilla out to Maya through the MetaHuman Creator, do some skin weighting there, export an FBX, bring it in, and transfer the weights. With my MetaHuman here, I'll just show you a pose where you can see it's right in the back here. He's got some a bit, uh, got some weighting that's not super desirable, especially around his uh, his haunches there. So uh, we'll try and uh, correct that. Jumping over to our Meta Gorilla, and if we go into the Body tab, we'll find the Body uh, Scale Mesh. If we double click that. This is where we would um, adjust our skin weighting for our gorilla. I'm just going to turn on the bones so I can see where the skinning problem is. So if I select some spine joints and rotate them around, you can see you can start to see where that um, pinchy um, area is where the skinning isn't so great, especially along some of those spine joints. So I'll select all those guys, reset them. If I select uh, skin over here and go to edit weights, I can actually select a joint and you can paint the weights in here individually. The big issues here is that the, the skin weighting tools aren't as good as what you can get in Maya or Blender. And there doesn't seem to be any mirroring tools. So that makes it pretty hard if you have done a lot of work on one side, on one arm or something like that, and then you want to go back. Um, but if you had to paint weights inside of Unreal, this is how you would do it. You can brush and uh, brush the influence on as you need to, or all this stuff is, is possible. If you uh, if you really wanted to, but I don't want to, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel out of here. I have the Meta Human Creator open with my gorilla, and I'm going to export a DCC version. Meta Gorilla walkthrough, Unreal exports, select folder, and hit assemble. Now that that's done, I can close that down and I will jump into Maya. Now over in Maya, we need to make sure that we have our MetaHuman plugin uh, installed. If you are looking for the MetaHuman plugin, it is on the Fab Store just here. You can add it to your library and then you would want to go down to the um, documentation for how to install, which is on the Epic site, which is here, all pretty straightforward. So once you've installed that, and we go up to Plugin Manager, make sure that our MetaHuman plugin for Maya is loaded, there it is, close, and up here you will have the MetaHuman menu. We want to go to Character, Assembler, we want to select our top level folder, and then it will come up as a thumbnail there. Going to hit assemble and it'll pull everything into our scene. Are we sure we want to import MetaHuman? Yes. Okie dokie, here he is in all his glory. Uh, I'm going to delete the lights. I don't need those. They're just there to cause us some pain. Uh, I will turn on the joints though, so I can see. This might slow us down a little bit, but um, joints. So I can grab those spine joints and give it a rotation similar to what we had in that other scene, so I can see the pinching. There it is. Ah, yes. All that nasty pinching back here is the stuff that we're targeting that we want to get rid of. I'm just going to hide hide those joints for now. I can bring them back later. My favorite tool for skinning is the NG skinning tools. 
if you haven't used NG skinning tools, uh, get on it. They are excellent. I'm going to select my mesh, initialize my skinning layers. This and this isn't a tutorial on how to use NG skinning tools. You can use any skinning uh, tool that you like. Uh, this is just something that I prefer. So I'm going to grab some of those. Fine areas, and I'm just going to relax them actually. Smooth. The uh, smooth brush with the NG skinning tools is one of the greatest things ever invented for skinning. All I'm doing is relaxing the area. Select a few of those spine joints. Essentially, it's actually doing a pretty good job. I thought that would be a little messier, but it actually looks like it's already cleaned it up pretty well. It's not bad. I think that's pretty good, actually. I'm going to unhide, unhide those joints. Oh, what I should have done is put a, um, is put a key at zero for those joints. Because if I zero them out, I know it's okay. Cool, cool. Uh, but what we do want to do is mirror our joints. But we need to make sure the naming is correct. So in the mirror tool here, we're going to go, where were we? We were on the positive x, we're going to go positive x, positive to negative, because we want to go from the side we just painted to the other side. Uh, we also want to preview the mapping. Let's just make sure our left to right naming conventions are correct. And they are not. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust because we want underscore um, underscore R instead of R underscore for our mapping and also underscore L whoops underscore L for our mapping apply and if we hit mirror our weights should have mirrored so then if we grab this guy yep looking good on that side and looking good on that side huge improvement to where it was not that his body's ever going to be in that such an extreme position, but it's uh, it's good to have. Okay, so I'm going to select the body mesh, and I'm going to export that as an as an FBX. Unreal export. I'll give him a new a weight uh, weights. body weights and export selection yeah I, that's all okay alrighty now that we're back in unreal we can just reassess our the weighting that we're trying to fix here it is there's that little um, squishy weighting artifact and if we go back to our uh, gorilla folder, our mesh folder, we're going to make a folder in here called uh, weights. Open up that folder. And we'll drag in our meta gorilla, our weights FBX that we exported from Maya. Import. 
does bring in a whole bunch of stuff, but that's okay. So it's this skeletal mesh here. That Meta Gorilla Weights Skeletal Mesh is the one we're looking for. So we're gonna to go to the Meta Gorilla base folder where our blueprint lives. Open up the body, find the skill mesh, the skeletal mesh, that one there. And just like we did before, we're going to hit edit weights. Well, actually, I can move his spine around just to so we get an indication of where the weights are bad. So we turn those bones off. A little distracting. Selected bones only. So we can see in our scale mesh where uh, that weighting is not so great. So if we go up to edit weights and down here in uh, source skeletal mesh we're going to find our imported skeletal mesh that we had that we just brought in for our with our weight painting on it load it into this section here and that's what you'll see there that's that guy two meshes in here so there is a source and a target this one is the source skeletal mesh so that is this is the one with the target with the weights that we want to transfer and we are just going to hit transfer weights and boom you see the update happen and already the pinching's gone there's still a bit of mesh yeah you're never going to get it perfect through there you you would expect some mass to still be uh, moving around there we're going to hit accept but already heaps better especially for such a quick little uh, rigging fix. So I scroll back up and I will reset all my spines. If I hit save, then that is updated. I can get out of here and should see an update on my gorilla. There it is. That skinning is much improved. It's still an extreme position, but it's no longer self-penetrating. And even and for such an extreme position, that's pretty decent skinning. I hope that helps you guys with your custom metahumans and I hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. Please keep sending me your uh, creations. I love to see them. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.